at home with Lucas here. So today we're going to be talking about splitting your Xfinity Wi-Fi. Yes, people, this is a process that is very important if you're trying to add a pesky 2.4 gigahertz device. Let's say that you got a new house cam or you got a new ring doorbell or you have some really cool smart piece of tech that connects to the Wi-Fi. But no matter what you do, you cannot get it to connect to your Xfinity Wi-Fi. In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to split the Wi-Fi activate that new device onto your home network and then split it back so that it looks the exact same. So if you follow all the steps in the video, you should have absolutely no problem connecting your new home camera drone or new home smart device. So let's go ahead and jump into that people. The first thing that we're gonna do is open up your Play Store, whether it's iOS or Android, you're gonna type in Xfinity and you're going to go to the Xfinity where it says Comcast underneath, and you're gonna scroll down to where it says what's new. Let's see, this is my version right here. So it is 4250. So if you already have the app installed, just go to the app store and make sure that your version is 4250. If it's not, update it. This is the latest um, update for Android. It's going to be different for iOS. This was updated on June 25th, 2023. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and open up the app. So the first thing you're going to want to do is deactivate your Xfinity pods or X5 pods. These things are going to cause massive trouble if you're trying to split your Wi-Fi. So all you have to do is go into the app. I can't show that on my end because I do not actually have the pods installed, but you just go into the app and you deactivate the pods very similar to the way you activated them. Once you finish the entire splitting process and you unsplit your Wi-Fi, you're gonna be able to reactivate these again, just like you did the very first time. So do that first and all the rest will work seamlessly. If you don't do that, it's probably gonna fail and it won't work for you. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is click on Wi-Fi at the bottom. It's got an icon of a router on top of it. Then you're going to click on View Wi-Fi Bands. I've already split my Wi-Fi, so it's going to show up as two different bands. Yours is just going to show up as one. It's just going to say your Wi-Fi name. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Then you're going to click on your name once more. You're going to see this little screen pop up. You're going to click Edit Wi-Fi. And this is the most crucial part of this whole thing is you must remember your name and password. So don't change your name and password at all. You need to keep it the same. You will need to change your 5G to a different name, but that doesn't matter. You're, you're just going to unsplit it and that'll disappear. But you want to change the 5G to something else and you want the 5G password to also be something else. But you must keep your name the same. Otherwise, all your devices that you've connected already won't be able to find your Wi-Fi again. So don't change that at all. Just change the 5G to something else and then click save at the bottom. And now when you click on view Wi-Fi bands once more, it's going to show you the two different split Wi-Fi's. And now you're going to be able to connect your device to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. And now if you want to unsplit it, you just simply hit unsplit, hit save. And now it's back to just one Wi-Fi name and one Wi-Fi password. And now you're back to the way you started. But don't forget to keep that Wi-Fi name the exact same. Otherwise, you'll have trouble. And that's just how easy it is. All right, there you go. That's the Xfinity Wi-Fi split. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to click that like button. And if you want to join the Adam Lucas family and you want to be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 7K. Yes, people, on my way to 8K, but I need your help. Yes, you right there. Tell your friends, tell your family. This guy is on YouTube. They should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.